There's a certain energy that builds in the drone community whenever DJI is rumored to be preparing its next big launch. For years, DJI has dominated the aerial cinematography market, balancing professional-grade features with consumer accessibility. With the original DJI Avatar and its successor, the Avatar 2, the company made FPV drones more approachable to filmmakers, creators, and even casual hobbyists. Both models focused on safety, ease of use, and immersive first-person flight. But now, according to the latest leaks, community chatter, and regulatory filings, the DJI Avatar 3 isn't just another incremental update. Instead, it looks like a serious push into the prosumer territory, blurring the line between a cinematic Cinewoop and a sport-grade FPV rig. If the rumors prove accurate, this drone could mark one of the most significant shifts in DJI's FPV lineup yet. We're talking about larger sensors for better image quality, higher frame rate recording for slow motion, reworked aerodynamics for sharper flight control, and next-gen integration with DJI goggles. Let's break down everything we know so far about the DJI Avatar 3, explore how it could change FPV filmmaking, and ask the all-important question, is this the drone that finally makes cinematic FPV accessible at a professional level? A quick recap, where the Avatar line stands. Before we dive into the Avatar 3, it's worth looking back. DJI Avatar 2022, designed as an entry point for FPV newcomers. It featured ducted propellers, a compact Cinehoop design, and compatibility with DJI's motion controller and FPV goggles. It prioritized safety and indoor usability. Even if image quality wasn't its strongest point, DJI Avatar 2, 2024. The sequel smoothed out many of the original's rough edges. With longer flight time, improved transmission range, and a 1-1.3 inch sensor, it elevated both performance and footage quality. Still, its main purpose was to be a gateway FPV drone. Safe, versatile, and user-friendly. Now, with the Avatar 3 2025-2026 window, Leaks suggest DJI is no longer just trying to create the FPV drone for beginners. Instead, they're targeting serious creators, filmmakers, and advanced pilots who want cinematic tools that don't compromise on performance. The Big Upgrade A 1-inch sensor one of the most exciting leaks centers around the Avatar 3's camera system. The Avatar 2 used a 1x1.3-inch sensor, which was already a notable step up from its predecessor. But now, DJI is reportedly jumping to a 1-inch sensor. Why does this matter? Low light performance. A bigger sensor means more light collection. That translates to cleaner shadows, better ISO headroom, and less noise in dark or mixed lighting. This is critical for evening city flights or dim indoor shoots. Dynamic range. With a 1-inch sensor, expect greater highlight retention and richer midtones, preventing skies from blowing out and keeping more detail in high contrast scenes. Depth and cinematic look. A larger sensor allows for shallower depth of field. While not as pronounced as DSLR or mirrorless cameras, it will still give subjects more background separation, resulting in a more cinematic image. Color science and grading. Bigger sensors give colorists more flexibility in post-production. DJI drones already support DSIN-like and D-Log color profiles, and paired with a one-inch sensor, filmmakers can push grading even further. This upgrade alone could transform the Avatar 3 from a fun FPV toy into a legitimate filmmaking tool. Frame rates, 4K at 120 FPS another. Major rumor is that the Avatar 3 will offer 4K recording at 120 frames per second. If true, this is huge. Slow motion mastery. Editors will be able to stretch out high-speed chases, sweeping passes, or action-packed reveals into buttery slow motion clips all without needing interpolation. Professional flexibility. For commercial shoots, 4K 120 FPS provides versatility in editing. You can speed it up for punchy FPV racing shots or slow it down for cinematic reveals, all within the same timeline. Bitrate and codec demands. Recording 4K 120 requires serious data throughput. DJI will need to upgrade both the internal processing system and thermal management. Leaks suggest they're reworking the airflow system and heat sinks to keep the drone stable during long flights. Together, the 1-inch sensor and 4K 120fps recording make the Avatar 3 an entirely different class of FPV drone. Flight dynamics, 4-blade props and repositioned battery beyond the camera, DJI appears to be reworking the flight system. 
Four blade propellers. Previous Avatar models used three blade props. Moving to four blades changes everything. It provides better thrust at lower RPM, tighter yaw control, and smoother flight response. Perfect for cinematic FPV. The trade-off is slightly more drag, but for filmmakers, stability, raw speed. Repositioned battery. The battery seems to be placed further back, which shifts the center of gravity. This improves pitch stability and helps pilots maintain smoother framing during complex passes. Motors and E. Speed. Rumors suggest the Avatar 3 may hit 140 kmh top speed. That's edging closer to dedicated racing drones while still retaining Cinehoop style safety. This mix of FPV racing DNA and cinematic smoothness could make the Avatar 3 one of DJI's most versatile drones yet. Design changes. Bulkier nose. Larger camera housing leaked prototype photos show the Avatar 3 with a noticeably larger nose and altered propeller guards. Bigger camera module. Needed to house the 1-inch sensor and improved optics. Thermal adjustments. Larger vents and redesigned ducts for cooling during 4K 120fps recording. Reinforced prop guards. To balance safety and performance, especially with the new four-blade propellers, the silhouette looks bulkier, but this is functional. It's about making the drone more reliable in high-performance scenarios without sacrificing the Avatar line's reputation for protected, indoor safe flying. Smarter sensors and obstacle avoidance leaks also point to upgraded flight sensors and software improvements. Omnidirectional sensing. Possible upgrades for 360-degree obstacle detection. Not just bottom or front facing. Better return to home. Logic. Smarter algorithms for safer fail-safe landings. Integration with new DJI. Goggles. Expected to launch alongside the Avatar 3. Rumors suggest lower latency, higher resolution, and improved field of view. For creators, this means fewer ruined takes, fewer crashes, and more confidence when flying indoors or in tight spaces. Pricing and release, window based on insider leaks and product cycles, the DJI Avatar 3 could launch late 2025 or early 2026. Expected pricing, drone only. Around 1,100 standard kit, on 200 to 1,300 fly more combo, YD400 to 1,500 plum. That positions the Avatar 3 firmly in the prosumer market. It's not entry level anymore. DJI seems ready to position this drone as a premium FPV filmmaking tool, rather than just a hobbyist gadget. Who is the DJI Avatar 3 for? The Avatar 3 looks like it's designed for three main groups. Professional filmmakers, Want a compact B-camera drone that can shoot slow motion and survive tight indoor shots. Advanced FPV. Pilots. Want DJI reliability with higher top speeds and better handling. Content creators. YouTubers. TikTokers, vloggers who want cinematic FPV shots without complex manual rigs. For casual hobbyists, the Avatar 2 is probably still enough. But for those who want to push boundaries, the Avatar 3 could be the perfect middle ground between pro rigs and cine hoops. Challenges DJI must overcome, as exciting as these leaks sound. DJI still faces several hurdles. Heat management. Can it really sustain 4K 120fps recording without overheating? Flight time. Bigger sensors and heavier builds could reduce battery life. Will DJI improve efficiency enough? Weight versus safety. More performance usually means more mass. Can it stay safe for indoor flights? Price point. At Chowin $500 for a full kit, will creators see it as a justifiable investment? These questions will determine if the Avatar 3 is game-changing or just another promising prototype.